All right, since I was so low energy in my first video because I was still tired, now that I had my black coffee, as you can see, you can see it's just black coffee with no sugar because that's just how I roll. <laughs> Try to avoid sugar as much as I can. You know what's killing us? Sugar and salt. But the point is, I am ready to rock. I am ready to rock. And we're going to talk about a friend of mine that is Gemini. Gemini right here. Gemini, Gemini. I am hyped thanks to that coffee. <laughs> I am hyped and we're going to find out, son. We're gonna find out, son. Now, I do gotta say this person has been in my life for a very long time. Consider this person a brother. And we always, every time we're together, we have a hell of a fun. And we're only beginning life, so much more to come. Especially when I receive my blessings. Life is going to be even more awesome because you know what? I love 2023. It's just going to be awesome after awesomeness. And then 2024 is going to be even more amazing. Actually, this might be the year that declares that everything is going to get 10 times more amazing in my life. Because I am blessed and I give thanks for that. But I tell you what, everybody that I love is going to get blessed as well. In a way, am I saying, do I love you, brother? I love you, brother. I really do. So everything is going to turn out right for everybody. So let's do this. Let's do this reading for you, son. I wish I was this hype earlier. There you go. There's a car jumping out for you. We got a jumper. Ooh, balance. Okay, we got balance. Sometimes... You know, sometimes we have, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we're depending on people giving us. Sometimes we have and we give. You know, that's exactly what I was just talking about. That's exactly what I was just talking about. So, things we want to find out and things you probably want to find out. Let's check in major life events. Let's check right now. Let's check a major life events that affect Rogelio Cruz Done right here. Vamos a ver. Here we go, son. Which one, which one, which one? Tell me. Okay, here we go. Jesus Christ, how many people are missing stuff? <laughs> Here we go. Missing moon. Missing. Missing. Void. Missing something. Is everybody missing something? So that's what's going on. Everybody's missing. Everybody's missing something. What is going on? House, house of concern, house of concern, house of concern here. Rogelio. Third house. Third house right here, message. So oh, there's a message. Coming in. This is the house of communication, if I'm not mistaken. A house of communication right here. A message. What a message. A message. You know what? Let's find out what this message... Let's find out. You know what? This message is curious. What is the message? 
communication. So here we go. All right, we're in legit communication here. So let's find out what is a message. There's a communicating message for you. There we go. We cut it in half. Oof. Wow. So you have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is pretty is pretty relentless and hardcore as you can see. She has a severed head right there and she carries the sword. She rules her kingdom with obviously swords is ideas and thoughts and stuff like that. She rules her kingdom how would I would say this? Everybody knows exactly what she wants, and she makes sure that everybody knows what she wants. She clearly gets the message across. <laughs> clearly gets the message across of what her will is. Which one is this? The two, right? There's the two of wands, which is usually a doorway towards. It usually represents a doorway. And as you can see, you're seeing the world with everything you want. You're standing there and you're observing the world. And you are. It's basically like a Lion King moment where you like everything that the sun touches could be your kingdom. And you're looking and tell you what, it doesn't look bad because this is the Ten of Pentacles. This is the Ten of Pentacles, sir. And it's looking like you at least get some of that world you want. And here's a man in old age that has already reached the end and everybody comes to him for basically the way easy to say it everybody comes to him to borrow money and he helps everybody out but he is blessed enough to give and still have this is a basically a wealth card the message as long as your message as long as you're clear on what you want and your message is dear and you're very clear about what, and you're and you have to because you're looking right now at everything you could have you might not have it yet but you're looking at everything you could have and you're ready you're ready to set off and conquer it and with that determination it seems like has a good outcome. I'll tell you what. Has a good outcome. Now let's check. Let's check what it is missing. What is this missing? Three cards. This is. You can't make this up. It's the Queen of Swords again. It's the Queen of Swords with the severed head. Well, she doesn't have the severed head in this one, does she? But it's the Queen of Swords. As you can see. That is crazy. And here we have... All these ideas around you, all these problems around you, and but they're problems like you know that you're they're there, but you're blindfolded. You're blindfolded to them, and you're tied up. It's more like 
either you're ignoring, either you're trying to ignore the problems and pretend like they're not there. But in reality, these problems are not as... It's like fe feeling tied up, feeling trapped. Feeling tied up, feeling trapped. Feeling helpless. Feeling like there's not much you could do. You're limited in your power to do. So this is obviously two roads. As you can see right here, there's obvious two roads here. But we have the world. So apparently that's what's missing. What's missing is this freedom. This freedom that the world has. This this completion this completion feeling complete feeling free feeling like you could achieve the world here you want to achieve the world and you have the ambition to do it over here it's what you're missing it's what you want the world there's two roads here and it wasn't my intention to make two roads but this became a two road reading So I want to see the outcome of these two roads. I want to see where these roads lead. Rogelio, where do these two roads lead? Let's find out. Let's find out where these roads lead. <laughs> okay, so obviously one of these roads is not like the other. So this road leads to completion, happiness, achieving everything. And being happy and wealthy and showing off all you have achieved. Harvesting all the hard work you've done. Harvesting all those fruits and money. And just to harvest. Getting everything you worked for. Getting everything. Happiness. Stability. So obviously cups is friends. Family. Being fulfilled with your happiness and your emotions, full com like these are so good cards. The Nine of Pentacles, if I'm yep, the Nine of Pentacles, which is the harvest where we harvest everything we work for, and there's group, there's good fruits, and as you can see, there's a guardian. Animals represent guardians, or guides, spirits. And obviously at the end we have this card, which is the card where you're like, yeah, bunch of losers, I did it. Look at you now, you all lost. So it's a kind of acting at the end like, like a bad winner making fun of all the losers because you won. That seems a lot like you too. <laughs> But yeah, that's awesome. This this looks awesome. But there's a counter. There's a there's there's a thing. It's like there's a choice. So it's a 50-50. There's like a very uh, the same amount of chance. And it all has to do with maybe a choice you're presented with or maybe a decision you take or something where you need to pull the trigger on it and you don't so, so over here it leads to a lot of passion, a lot of fire, and not for nothing, I love, I love the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is very fired up, she knows, she has, 
she has the one she has grown she has in her in her hand everything she's worked for and grown and she's passionate and she's pushing forward these are not bad cards at all these are not bad cards at all but it not necessarily this seems like a lot of success and money and happiness while in this side even though it's not failure it seems like a lot of maybe anger and and more hard work and an ending it all has like a ending and after that ending the crazy thing is i could keep pulling cards and after that ending there is a new beginning something has to end in this side of the road something has to end for there to be a rebirth because this is the death card and the and the death card represents that ending but endings leads to beginnings so it's the like the literal death of our lifestyle or the literal death of everything no don't don't break my card now but yeah it's a a lot of fire over here and passion a lot of fire and passion I might even dare to say this. What could change everything is a person you meet with this fire. Because this is a female card and she has, she's a princess and then she's a queen. Same person. Same person. It's almost as if in this side you're successful, but depending on somebody. Hmm. Very interesting. Two roads, and obviously right in the middle, the first card we have has the, the balance. There's two people. He's holding the balance in his hand, and he's handing out coins. You are crazy enough, now that I think about it, you are Gemini, which tends to be the two-divided person. And you need to balance the two balancing the two wow gemini you seem to always have the split it doesn't even matter how you throw the cards it splits in two ways that's crazy that is crazy but yeah that's what i got for you man only you will know if you're going through it or you're going to go through it in the future But yeah, I could see a lot of good, man. I could see a lot of good. One way or another, that's what I got for you. I hope you liked it. Please leave a like, comment below. And if you do have a specific question, throw it at me. And I'll work with Spirit to try my best and get it for you. But yeah. I'm going to leave it there, guys. I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. And I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day. Where's my coffee? I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day because it's my day off. I'm going to play some video games and chill. Peace. Hey.